are just 18 hours away now from pulling together, of course, our big event to help end pediatric cancer. And right now, we just want to take a second to say thank you to yes. you, our viewers, who made our Pulling Together phone bank, bank a big success. You've helped us raise more than $137,000 wow, for the local nonprofit, the Children's Cancer Fund. And of course, our efforts, far from over, like we said, we still have 18 hours. As we mentioned, donations can still be made on CBSDFW.com, but thank you so much for helping us yeah. in this fight. And I want to thank everyone who's donated to the specific teams, including mine, Team Ken, who's going up against Team Gilma tomorrow. That's so, right. uh, still a little bit of time left if you care to make any more donations. We'd appreciate That's it. That's right. Don't worry, though. We're still besties, everyone. <laughs> and we did catch up with second graders at St. John's Episcopal School who are pulling together to help children suffering from cancer. Now here's what they had to say to them in their own words When I'm sick, I'll be sad or. Mm. Frustrated. I'm frustrated, thank you. If I'm in my mom and dad's room, I have to have like a bunch of trash cans because if I throw up in my mom and dad's room, they're gonna be really strict. They're not gonna be happy. No, they're just gonna be like, oh, um, try not to throw it up in her bat. My cousins had a friend that had cancer and lost all her hair, and I went to her birthday party, and the minute I saw her, I was just like, wow, I feel bad. I like my hair. If you walk past them, don't try to like stare at them too much. If you see them like wearing a wig or something, don't make fun of them because they don't have any hair. Say you're sorry about that you had cancer and I'm glad you beat it. Get better soon. I hope Aww. your cancer gets cured yeah. and you're out of the hospital. Oh, and I hope you get many get well cards. How aware are those second yeah, graders there? I mean, so much wisdom there. That's unbelievable. Uh, thank you to them for that message. And of course, folks, don't forget that our epic tug of war battle, it takes place again tomorrow. It all gets started at 11 a.m. The gates open up at 10 over at Lynn Creek Park in Grand Prairie. For more on the best way to get there, here's Madison Sawyer.